Death and the Afterlife. What do the saints say about death and life everlasting? Let's listen. This is what Saint uh, Jeru Cyril of Jerusalem says. The root of all good works is the hope of the resurrection. The expectation of the reward moves the soul to do good works. Saint Cyprian says this. For it is for him to fear death who is not willing to go to Christ. St. Ambrose says this, To the good man to die is gain. The foolish fear death as the greatest of evils. The wise desire it as a rest after labors and the end of ills. And St. Augustine says this, <clears throat> What consequence is it, what kind of death, puts an end to life? Since he who has died once is not forced to go through the same ordeal a second time. The bodies of the saints will therefore rise again free from every defect, from every deformity, as well as from every corruption, encumbrance, or hindrance. In this respect, their freedom of action will be as complete as their happiness. Then there was a saint whose, whose name was Saint Clotilda, who lost her little baby who died. God took her little baby, and this was what Saint Clotilda said with respect to the death of her little one. I give thanks to Almighty God that he has not considered me unworthy to be the mother of a child admitted into the celestial kingdom. Having quitted the world in the white robe of his innocence, he will rejoice in the presence of God through all eternity. How painful, but also how consoling for mother to lose the little child, but the little child being baptized and dying in innocence Obviously, that little child is in heaven now, praising the Blessed Trinity for all eternity. Finally, let's listen to what Blessed Junipera Serra, who is the missionary of California, says about life, death, and eternity. Blessed Junipera Serra says, Life is uncertain, and in fact may be very brief. If we compare it with eternity, we will clearly realize that it cannot be but more than an instant. A happy death of all the things of life is our principal concern. For if we attain that, it matters little if we lose all the rest. But if we do not attain that, nothing else will be of any value. So let's pray for the grace of a holy and happy death through the intercession of Mary, the Mother of God.